Hi everybody, Laura here for Honeybee Stamps. Thank you so much for joining me today. I have a colorful, fun project to share with you featuring the new Lovely Layers Coneflower Honeycuts die set. I mean, look at it. All of the Honeybee Stamps Lovely Layers die sets are to die for, especially this coneflower one. So I have a bunch of different little scraps of solid color cardstock. I've got two different shades for the two different leaves. Now for the little cone part, this is like a metallic copper and a brown. I'm gonna layer those two up. Now for the blooms, there's four dyes. I got two shades of dark pink cardstock and two shades of a lighter pink. So if you don't have a million and one different colors of solid color cardstock, I'm gonna show you how to judge it up. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take Distress Ink and Picked Raspberry and I'm going to try to make the base layer a little bit darker than the third layer. Okay, so we got four, three, two, one. So I'm going to call this layer four. And I'm using picked raspberry. And that'll make it slightly darker. And then here's three. I'm not really adding anything to that. Now here's two and one. Okay, for two, I want to give it a little bit more picked raspberry and make it slightly darker than the fourth layer. You following me? I hope I'm making sense. Okay, so we're giving it a little zhuzh, taking everything off camera, running it through the die cutting machine. And now you will see how it all comes together. I did go over each one and give it a little extra ink blending because I'm a mad woman like that. And I'm just using Barely Arts glue or any type of liquid glue. You could even use Tape Runner to adhere these layers together. Times in the past, I have popped up each layer sometimes I do have to rein in the dimension but that doesn't take away the fact that dimension is life okay now we're moving on to the cone the cone part does this have a name I'm gonna call it the cone part it looks beautiful in that metallic copper and look at how the little bit of ink blending really brought it to life I'm gonna do one more cone flower out of three shades of red to pink cardstock now I did a little quick search on cone flowers. Have you ever seen how many different beautiful colors and multicolored cone flowers there are? I was thinking about trying to do a multicolored one, but I just went with a pink and a red. Keeping it easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, okay, so I did, for the ink blending on these, I used candied apple to keep it more in the red family. And I just did a little bit, little dabble do ya, a little bit here. You wanna have variation? So then I'm going to use that uh, liquid glue to adhere these four layers together. And you can see the little petals help you to line up so you can perfectly line up each layer. It fits together like a puzzle piece. I'm telling you the honest truth. These lovely layer honeycut sets make you look better than you are. If I'm being honest, I'll tell you, when I put this together, I'm actually surprising myself. I'm like, okay. All right, well, that made me look better than I actually am. But look at these. I mean, they're heavenly. Okay, going to use a little pattern paper. This is the new Summer Stems pattern paper pack, and I picked a very subtle gray pattern. I didn't want anything to compete with those gorgeous blooms. So I have a white card base here out of Nina Solar White 110. I've got my pattern paper. I'm getting the lay of the land on my Misty because I'm going to stamp my sentiment. Now, the sentiment is from this new writing by stamp set. And I'm just going to do that little hello right there. So I want to kind of position the hello, just like nest it in between the blooms. And I'm just going to stamp it simply with a little black ink. Nothing fancy schmancy. A lot of times I emboss the sentiment, but today, keeping it simple. Okay, so I'm stamping that hello. And I'm going to stamp it twice to make it nice. And Versify never lets you down. It never lets you down. Okay, now I'm going to pop up this panel. Because dimension is live. Okay, I got to stop. Sometimes when I get the jingles going, it gets out of hand. Okay, get in the lay of the land with the blooms. The first bloom, I'm just going to adhere flat with some liquid adhesive. Now, the second bloom, I am going to pop it up just a smidge. Don't want to get out of hand, but you do need to lift it a little bit so it can kind of overlap and be slightly on top of the pink one. Now for the leaves, I cuddle them up in pairs 
while I'm holding them, slap on some glue, and then you tuck them. From here on out, it's all about the tuck. It's the tuck and the zhuzh. <laughs> so you tuck in the leaves, a little bit on the top, a little on the bottom. Now, sometimes, you know, when my leaves are hanging off like that, this is going to cause you some problems with envelope. But luckily, I make a lot of my envelopes, so I use the envelope punch board. Now look at this new tool, the Honey Bee Tweezers. I love a new tweezer, and these just happen to be perfect for a zhuzh. And these coneflower petals deserve the best zhuzh that you ever zhuzh like your life depended on it like the coneflower deserves it. Now the last part of the tuck. Tuck the sequin. I'm tucking in a couple sequins using those tweezers and I just feel like I love a good tuck. You know what I'm saying? A coneflower tuck and a sequin. A simple little hello with some zhuzhed up coneflower petals. Now, one last thing. I saw these summer stem envelopes. Now, I'm not sure if my card will fit in them, but I just had to show you. Look how that coordinates. It's like papau. Okay, so there you have this beautiful coneflower with a simple hello. Could be used for any occasion. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day. And I will see you next time.